Yes, yes, Massive and Crew back once again with another video. And today I am going to show you, as promised, how to lay down the beat that we did the other day. So for those of you who don't know, followed my last video, um, I got a kit together in Halion. And we were using Halion 6, yeah, to put down um, some a selection of samples and save them into some kits that we could use later on down the line. As you can see here, I've got my B drums kits, which I saved previously in the previous session. I've got everything laid out. I've got my Halion 6, uh, you know, set out, ready to go. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to set my BPM up. I've got the BPM on, on, I turn on the metronome. So you can hear the click. And but to turn on the metronome, I just press the C button. That's a shortcut. Much easier if you just press the metronome on and off. And then I'm just going to set a little loop. So I'm going to hold down uh, command on the Mac, uh, control, whatever, all on your computer if you're using PC. And uh, and then I'm just literally going to click where I want to create a loop. Yeah. So to do that, I'll just click like that, click like that, click like that. Bosh. Right. And then. So hold down the Alt key, move it there and make sure that this is set to bar. Otherwise, if it's not set to bar yet, you won't, it won't be able to, um, it won't have a snap to it. If you notice, when I move this counter, uh, there's, there's, a, there's sort of a snap to what's going on. So I'm just uh, going to start all the way over here because I can see the camera is getting in the way at the moment on the actual uh, tutorial. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to run this, set a little loop up, and I'm going to hit record, get my drums ready. That's sound interesting. All right, so one, two, three, and. Okay, so I've got that down, simple as that. Gonna go like that, gonna get in there, I double click it, and you can see there's the piano roll, the grid, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and then I've got this uh, inspector. You wanna make sure if you press the two mouse buttons down, you can you can um, change the, the parameter of this uh, cursor. And, and, and at the moment, we want that to normal sizing, so we don't want to mess with time stretch. We'll deal with that in another video, right? Hit the Q button for quantize. Make sure the quantize is in the correct groove that you want. Um, and then usually I put down 16. And then I'm going to literally drag that to the first beat. Right? And as you can see... Okay, so you can see some of the quantizing went a little, little bit loopy loo there. But all you do is you just literally just move it about, fix it up, do what you got to do. So let's see if we can use the, the cursor up here now. Same procedure, Bosch, left cursor. So there you go. So it's Alt and Command. Alt for the left cursor, Command for the right cursor, and, and then just click the mouse. With your drums, velocities, I'm going to turn them all up on this one. And then just want to add some hats to it. Uh, if you want, if you're feeling lazy, you want to run some hats a different way. You can just put the eight on, uh, change the tool to the line tool, uh, and then literally just grab that, draw a line, right? And then you got a little trick. I'll show you real quick. So as you can see, it's only putting it on the eights. Now we want that on the sixteen. What you can do delete the foot and the snare off the hats and that gives you a little effect gives you like a ducking effect and then it makes it not sound so robotic from there you can add a bit of compression let's get some open hats Want to layer that as well. Again, little quantizing now. Lovely, jubbly. From there, we're going to get a little rex file. Going to go to the media library. Right. 
T-Rex, there you go. Right, lovely. Okay, so we've got some T-Rex files here. Let's see what we've got. Find a nice little break. Yeah, let's try that, see what we got. Drag that in there, chuck that on underneath it. Let's see what we got. Right, so obviously we don't want the kicks and that. So I'm just going to get a little bit of something from that. Right, nice. And then a little... Let's put out an eight quantizers. Right, need that snap on. So turn the grid on. I click the snap button now and then put it to your quantize. Gonna edit this up a bit now. Okay, it's kind of weirding out now. What is wrong with this? Oh, that's on some weird groove. Let's try a grid and cursor. No, I don't like it like that. What's going on here? It's probably easier. I'm about to shuffle in. Let me see. There you go. What's that? It's on a sort of a groove. Okay, I can't deal with that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the quick way. I'm going to join it all up, glue it all together. Rex files are weird like that. SMM break sounds like on it. There you go, that's interesting. And then you want to take off the low of that. So go into your EQ. Off. 
Okay, so there we have it. We have that beat there. So that's it. I've put the beat down so far. We've uh, we've laid down the kit. We've put down the beat. This is the basics of a beat. We're, go we're going to get into a bit of compression and uh, a bit of EQ on the next video. So that's it for now. Take care. God bless. Peace. I'm a